Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 9 of Love Live Nitigasaki School Idol Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. My second best girl. What's up, Yuki? Oh, fuck. God. Oh, Satsuna. Hmm? Of course, kissing me. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, of course, my sleepy baby! And now everyone does. Yeah, because we got, like, what, three episodes left of this show? Yeah, we need to see you guys come together and do a couple of group songs before this show's over. True. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, number one, that's good. But, uh, they haven't even performed together as a unit yet. We don't need, you can, can we count the opening? I mean, a little bit of yes and a little bit of no, but still we need it together inside the episode. But yeah. All right. So talking about second best girl, Cotton, why I love her so much. She's honestly really, she gives me a lot of motherly vibes, especially after watching the first eight episodes and how every single time when it was always focused on another character, she was always there, uh, always there with her little just motherly comments. And she's just so sweet. Love her. Her freaking song still is a bop. And hopefully her new song is a bop as well. Because, I mean, her first song has been memed so much <laughs> that it's not even funny. <laughs> It's a good behind song. Don't get me wrong. I think um, the unit of her and I, that is my favorite unit out of all for this group of girls. And then so, um, I don't know who I would like after that. But yeah, I cannot wait to see how she's going to struggle with two different worlds and bringing them together and just 
making it as one. I mean, it's probably going to be really hard for her. She's kind of been struggling for the last few weeks, but this is when we're really, truly going to see it. Oh, cool. I'm kind of done. So you must have just heard Shizuku's song. <laughs> well, in a way, she can't really answer that right now. Well, yeah! And then plus if it's also live stream, so... Uh... What's up? And how many songs do you girls have? Yeah, you yeah, haven't done any group songs yet. So something tells me that episodes 10 to the finale will be them writing their songs. Cotton. But then what about the other two? Hmm. But wouldn't that be a little unfair though? Well, I mean, it should... These two. <laughs> She's right, though. So then maybe, Cotton, you should do it. You're the only one who hasn't seen, sang it. Mm. Of course, here comes girlfriend Emma coming to see her. <laughs> oh, you look so pretty! Makes you wonder where she's going. Uh -uh. Hmm? Uh -uh. Hmm? Oh, my lovely Sasuna Yuki. I love you so much, baby. What's up? Oh! 
I love how they're still with that merch right there. They were referencing all the old cards and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. That's so pretty and sweet though. Just to see how far they've come. Well, why don't you just ask for help? It's adorable, but just, you know, whenever you need help, always ask. No, it's okay. You were just being truthful. Yeah, don't ever apologize for that. That's also what I love about her. She'll tell it to you like it is, even if it is harsh criticism. Yeah, she's a little afraid of sometimes telling the truth, but don't ever be afraid about that. Some people like it when people are honest and a little bit brutal honest as well. Mm-hmm. Besides, as I said, she's the only one who hasn't sang a song yet. And we need to hear it. <laughs> Chris, these three would be together. It still would have been nice if her girlfriend came to comfort her. I'm just saying, but it's okay. I'm not mad at it. Kasumi, don't make her nervous. Oh, she already looked pretty from the back. <laughs> oh. You're gonna do so great. Now I feel like I'm watching D4DJ and or playing D4DJ. But you're going to wow them. Well, Kyrene's going to wow them for you. Oh. 
Ah, uh, her aura, I just, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, I love her so much. Damn it. God, you could not have given me just one moment where they could have performed. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but Kasumi, uh. Caught in. Just like the rest of you guys were. No. You got this. So go out there and wow them. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Oh, so that's where the gift lies. Ah. Uh Mm -hmm. Oh god, I'm already loving it. <laughs>
I whipped that up. It was so bad. Oh. <laughs> That was so freaking beautiful. Like, oh my god, it's so precious. Okay, this, oh god, that song and the performance was just so good, oh man. Honestly, really, I gotta say it, like, Cotton and Kanata, like, I can't do number one and number two, they're both number one for me, and I love them both equally. Oh, this is such a good episode, Jesus, I didn't think, three episodes, back to back, Kanata, Shizuku, and Cotton. All made me cry or tear up for some reason. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh. Now, okay, I don't know. The The song is good. The song was a really good song. But if I had to choose between um, Starlight and this, oh, God, that's hard. I think in the end I just choose both. Both are good for, like, different hypes. Like, one is a hype song and one's a very chill but gets hyped later on. But it was good. I like the performance. I like the aesthetic of it. I really hope that with some of these music videos that, in a way, I kind of wish that we got it almost like with Bunsity or any other idol S game where you get to see the music video from the episode in the game. But from what I checked with Butterfly for Kanata, they're not doing that. And it's kind of sad. Or they could have just did also a 3D performance of it too. That would have been nice. I get the fact that you can't really do everything, but it, it was good. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Makes sense. Ah, uh, food. Oh, baby, so pretty. <sighs> Such a good fashionista. Honestly, uh, by the end of Cotton's performance, going to the point where they, where we see you, our character, and the two girls on the side, and how it kind of zoomed in on you's eyes, I was assuming that like this next episode would have been an episode focusing on us as the character and such. That I mean, honestly, yeah, we get th we get that character development every single week with our character, but still, it would be nice if we got something, even though we want we probably wouldn't be forming. I don't know if the person who is playing this character can sing. I mean, that's something that I would really love to look at, but. If she could, let's say she could, I would literally just want one episode. It doesn't have to be next week. It could be episode 11. Episode 12 can be the finale of when Nijikasaki School Idol Club performs together as a unit. And it's going to be so good. And I'm probably going to cry like so many freaking times. As much as I did when freaking Aquas performed, um that uh the dreamer song because i oh god i haven't watched season one of love life sunshine in a while but i think if i rewatch that one episode and just hearing them come together and sing that song i i just mm. <laughs> i cry like a baby or something i don't know but this was such a good episode for cotton i'm so proud of her and everything that she's accomplished hell i'm proud of all these girls and what they've accomplished in this short span of time and we only got three episodes left, and I hope it just goes 
up from here. We have nowhere but to go up, and it's going to be really good for them. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Love Line Nijisaki School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 10. Bye, guys.